Welcome back to Sir Cave How to video beautiful people in today's video we're gonna be dealing with this unavoidable pain flaking problem that I have and it's a nagging problem because it's exactly the first thing that I see when I wake up in the morning and the last thing that I see before going to bed at night so uh, yeah, as you can see, I'm in no way, shape, or form an expert in this area, but if I can do it, I'm damn sure you can do it too. So, we're gonna start with identifying all the areas affected. Alright, alright. First, let's inspect all the damaged areas, and it's just this, just peeling off. And, and you can imagine what it's like sleeping at night and that just falling over your head. And of course, I would expect you to have protected all the area that you're gonna be working on. And we're gonna be going over there, like that. See how easy it's coming off, even just just effortlessly, just peeling off. It's all right. See that? Just peeling off easily, just by hands, ladies and gentlemen. And that's exactly where this comes handy. Apply a little pressure, just keep pulling away so you can't peel any longer. If it comes up easy, it means you can apply a little bit of pressure, and if it doesn't, it means that's as far as you can go. So, see that coming off, isn't it? Oops. <laughs> Now, that's how far I've managed to scrape off so far. And now to the trickier part. There might be some parts that actually comes off as if everything is okay until you give it a little knock. And you know, everybody knows what a hollow sound sounds like. Like, you know, there's some sounds of emptiness right there. Well, you can clearly hear that needs some fixing right there. Let's keep. Oh, see how easy that came off? See, it was obvious that I did some fixing. So obviously it's gonna take a whole lot of work than I anticipated. Same as if we have some moisture issue with our neighbor upstairs. And after it's all said and done, and I'm done scraping around, this is all that is left. So now we're going to apply a protective layer to prepare the old place for joint compounding right before painting. And that's what's up next. So now we're going to sand the damaged area together with the OK area with a 120 grit sandpaper before applying the compound primer. All right, it's not that crazy. Just go over the edges of the damaged area and make sure you do a good job blending the surface you're about to work on with a compound primer. Uh-huh. All right, we'll apply a compound primer. Just make sure you have your protective gloves because you never know what kind of chemical you're working with. So. Mm. 
go over the surface you're gonna be looking at. And some prefer using the spray bottle or some sort of spray container. I just prefer the Picasso style, like so. Cover the entire thing. And so, after we're done applying the primer, we're gonna give it two hours before coming back to finish off with a ground compound application. After which, we're gonna have to wait another hour or two. All right, it's been two hours. The base layer is dried up. Now it's time to apply some joint compound. I already have mine here mixed up to a very nice thick consistency and just apply away. I believe it's a little too thick because right, it's my first time doing this so it's never going to be perfect. But being the first time out, I can make some mistakes. Like, it's the first layer, right? whereas in the second layer, I'll make it a little thicker. And that should solve the water issue we're having here right now. Not bad. <laughs> now switch the smaller joint knife to a much bigger one. Apply away. difference the big knife makes huh <laughs> remember it is the first pass so we're not just gonna concentrate just yet on our perfect dance look look at that And so far, so good. So here where you have the two slabs meet, we're gonna put a mesh tape. So I just go over the area with one pass. Gonna have to walk faster. Get a big knife. And there you go. As for today, here's where we're gonna park it at. I've given it just one pass of our compound dry. And by tomorrow, I'll be back with the finishing touch. Can't really promise it's gonna be smooth as a professional who handle it, but for uh, someone who's doing it for his first time, I believe uh, <laughs> this isn't a bad result, if you ask me. Uh, just, you know. Remember what this looked like at the beginning of the video? I've done my best. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna let it dry out now overnight and then I'll be back tomorrow. If you like what you've been watching so far, hit that like button and subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow for the second pass. So we've left this overnight someplace uh, bone dry, so I'm still struggling to get dry. And yeah, it's about time to apply the second coat. Just trying to feel out all the spots from yesterday. And to an extent, I believe 
I could have easily gotten away with the first pass and just sending down heavily. Then I wouldn't need to apply a second pass, right? Well, they recommended two passes and I'm like, why not? Most of you guys out there probably will be okay with just one pass, one layer of the joint compound and sand down and then you should be good to go. I should be through with the whole session next time you see me. All right, we're at the finishing stages now. Compound is all dried up, and we're gonna be knocking out all the high spots with our one pretty great sandpaper before finishing up with the right paint. Let's get it. You want to feather the edges properly so that it blends in perfectly with the old paint. Mm. Looking smooth, looking smooth. We've done a great job here ladies and gentlemen. So in case you were worried about getting everything into perfection in the first or second pass of compound application, this rectifies everything and now it's all smooth from end to the other end now we just go over everything with a tacky cloth and you should be ready for painting are you kidding me honestly that's not a bad result for a first time okay it is smooth as a baby butt. Alright, time to paint. I really shouldn't be showing you this, but hey, there are channels out there where you can watch your paint dry. <laughs> now apply your primer so that your paint will have something to stick onto. Then I'm just gonna do the rest like that and come back when it's all done. Alrighty, so everything is covered up and We'll be back in the next two hours to finish off with the final painting. Look at that. And on to the final step. Then I'm just gonna do the rest like that and come back when it's all done. And there it is, after it's all said and done. Now you might be wondering, that isn't a perfect job, but actually that's not the intention of this video. I made this video trying to demonstrate to you guys that a uh, couch potato like myself <laughs> with basic tools you guys probably already have laying around the house can pull off something like this. All right. So if you're interested, I got all the equipments I used in this video in the description. And yeah, if there's anything you can take out from this video is to show you that if I can pull this off, you can do that as well. <laughs> Hit that thumbs up button and sure to like this video and share it amongst other DIYers as well. And it's been real. I'll see you in the next one. Adios. Look at that. I'm proud. Never ever done this before. <laughs>